Hey, so I did my eyeliner and now I'm back. And today I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I got this, I think, in a Safari bag or somewhere. So I just haven't. I used this when I was on vacation at Key West. So I haven't used it since then. I can't remember how good it was. Of course you can't remember what you've done in Key West. Well, I can remember. Oh, I can remember. What a time I had. So, in Key West, Homie got to chase an iguana. And yes, he did. He chased the iguana all the way up the dragon tree. And you should have seen him. He was so happy. He got to see that water. Oh, he played in the water with me. On the reefs down there. And what is that? Fort Zachary, I think. Um, I've been there a few times. But I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's Fort Zachary. But it's such a beautiful place. And if you, I recommend if you've never been. You need to go at least once in your life because <laughs> God made us, you know, the art and nature that God made. I mean, that's just, you know, some breathtaking when you say it. You can get a bigger appreciation for everything that's around you. I think, anyway, I'm going to get that new perspective and everything. Hey, Homer, you want to get up and talk to people? Come on, little buddy boy. Ah, he's asleep. He got him a girlfriend. New neighbor moves in. They have a dog, and they got loose today. Oh, I'm going in with Smashbox Concealer, the 24-hour. I really like this concealer. Um, so, after I put on my foundation, I put on my concealer. And your concealer is what I think you make. If you want to really branch out and do your makeup better, put your concealer on after your foundation. And make sure you use setting powder after. So, I'm going to go in here with my blender. And I just started using blenders. I didn't really care for them. Because I thought, oh, it's just going to waste my product. And I, you know, not a good investment. But, let me tell you. If you want... Your um, a cert something to stay in that place, and I just bake in that place. <laughs> like this concealer is doing, it has brightened up my face already. Um, I recommend a beauty blender because it's not gonna spread that stuff out in your pores and look all cakey and just like dry out like flakes and fall off your face and look like a daggone scaly snake. Wherever you're going, no, that's not what will happen. So, ah! Sorry, guys. So, after that, what I do is always, 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 after you do, now this is for anyone, after you do your concealer, make sure that you go in with a setting powder. And set it right away. Like, right away. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to get them creases. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. If you do your makeup, excuse me, if you do your makeup, you know what I'm talking about. With the creases. Nobody likes that because, you know, it just, it don't look good. You look like a a mess that came up out of 
who knows where. Uh, ooh, ooh, what is say the powder? So, I'm sure they <clears throat> Oh, and the satin powder that I use in is my favorite brand, sorry, the Shape Tape satin powder. Your smooth Operator Clay Finishing Powder, my bad, excuse me. But, see, it's my favorite item. I'm, I'm so lame sometimes. Not really. Alright, so then... Alright, I love to save stuff that's on the packaging. I'm just weird like that. Is anybody else weird like that? I don't know. So, I'm going to go in here with my Smashbox Contour Palette. And as you can see, it's a beginner. Because, hey, you know, I can say, sometimes I need a little help. So, I'm going to go in with Medium Shade. I'm going to highlight... The cheeks of my bones. And I like to come up here with my hairline. And kind of give that like an apple effect. See what I'm talking about? And come in the other side. Am I looking like somebody yet? A little bit more on the other side. Alright, and then darken my little fat chin up. Okay, it's my little honey. Okay, I got a big fat chin. And my mama's family gave it to me. And ain't no shame in my double chin game. <laughs> I little so cute. Oh my god. <sighs> If that was only a club for us double chin girls. Alright. So that kind of darken. I, I don't know. I'm just weird like that. But that's how I did that. And then, like, I have a separate highlighter to use. And I use that. And don't get me wrong, this is awesome to travel with. Throw it in and you got it off. Um, my Z palette. Let me get my Z palette out. And I love my Z palette, and it's double sided, but I haven't got this side packed up yet because I've had some issues trying to get some of that packaging out. And honey child, is it a damn death spin to get some of them palettes out of them packaging? So I forgot what this was, but we're gonna go in. Well, no, no, we're gonna go in with the glow highlighter because I just recently got this. Um. Not about that being from my Etsy bag, but I'm gonna just highlight. You see what's happening here, honey? I went from a mess to, um, I don't know. I was gonna say stress, but I'm not stressed, thank God. Um, this actually feels natural to be on video. Alright, so I'm just going to highlight my little features going down. You see what it is? Alright. <clears throat> then, I think, I'm kind of, I'm trying to remember. I think this was the Laura Geller um, blush. And I just go in here and kind of, I like, I like to have red rosy because I have rosy undertones and I recommend if you have a rosy undertone to put you some blush on that contour. Don't be shy. I mean it's just makeup. It can wash off. And I almost forgot this is my little secret. And I got this German nose now, if you German, you know what I'm talking about. And if you in my family, you definitely know what you're talking about. Because you got the eyes and you got that nose. So, I like to come in here and go down my nose. Like so. And I know you might not be able to see it because I can't. Let's go to see here. 
I got it in my right there. Like that. Like that. Alright. I know we're a little like crab right now. But you just gonna wait and we're gonna see something. Alright. Now, the trick is, is you're gonna go, you're gonna what? Sweep up because the shadow, you don't want it to go down into your, con your concealer. I mean, you want it to go up to create that effect that you ain't got that big of a nose. So just sweep up and blend. Oh man, we don't scratch on video, baby. Baby, hey, 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 look, look at everybody. Say, hey, my name is Homer. Homer Rodner. Are you interested in this video, Homer? <laughs> well, my son said. He going to sleep on that. He going to sleep on it. So I parted my hair and so you see that nose? That nose kind of tip top and now grooving. Alright. Alright. So what I usually do now is I put on my lashes. And then my lips. I always save my lips for this. And I don't know what I'm gonna do for my lips today. Um since I'm wearing yellow, this might stand out. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Um I'm gonna use I'll be right back. Let me go see what I'm going to use on this lip. Hi guys, I'm back. So we're going to finish up. I put my eyelashes on. And we're going to finish up and put um, my lips on. So what I do is I do a cross, an X, like with my um, lips. So... Hopefully you guys can see this. Just draw X with my liner, and then I'm gonna draw another X. You see, I kind of got my peak up. I don't know if you can see it or not. Then I can get right up. And then on the bottom lip, I do the center first. Like so. And I don't fake draw my lip. I already have such a natural lip line. I don't need to, but I don't have no upper lips. I will say that. If there's a natural way to get lips, your upper lip bigger, because I definitely don't need my lower lip bigger, then please, please let me know. Um, the liner I used in this was the Lipstick Queen and Natural. And I think I got this out of um, maybe glossy box or something. So, and then after I line my lips, if you want to put a stain, a lip color, or a lipstick, whatever you want, um, today I'm gonna put the liquid lipstick by Stella and. 
what color is this? Um, I, I'm not sure what the color it is. Oh, Biaka. Excited? I don't think I tried it yet. So, oh wow. And I always use a darker liner than I do my lipstick. And that's just to, it contours it on its own when you do it like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, take my glasses off. This is the final look. And no, obviously I'm not done with my hair. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, just check back. I'm gonna do another video with these little things. This is all natural hair and I've been growing it for a long, long time. But um, just check back. I'm gonna do a little tutorial about it. And I will see you guys later. And Homer is obviously, he's knocked out. And little baby kitty kids, they are curled up and asleep right beside me. So. I will see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I enjoyed it making it, and yeah, just check in to me later, see what else you see. Bye-bye!